Good afternoon, guys. God bless you this afternoon. On my time is afternoon. You probably will be hearing this during the morning time. Um, we are here because God is doing some amazing things. And praise God, you are part of it that have been helping me as a missionary in Panama. We're doing a lot here. Um, first thing first, I'm fine health-wise. I had to go to the doctor last week. Everything came out negative, so I'm good. I still feel dizzy a lot, but I don't know what's causing it. But, you know, God is in control, like I was explaining to you guys. Um, so I'm good. A lot of prayer for strength. Um, not just physical strength, but spiritual strength, emotional strength. I just need everything from the Lord to keep going because we have a lot of work to do here. But spirit, mind-wise, my spirit is okay. I'm good. So thank you to you guys who's praying for me. Um, continue to have that strong faith in God because there's nothing like it and that's what hold us together even though I'm tired I would do this over and over again I can't get tired because there's a lot of work to do there are a lot of people who are in need this place you're looking at is the blessing God has given us we have purchased a new land for the foundation and on the foundation our goal is to have a school is to have the boys home, the girls home, and also we're gonna do home for the abused families. We have a lot of families that um, children are getting abused sexually by family members and they live on the same ground. So we have to find a way to remove them to keep them safe. So we need you to pray for that. Um, but now that's part of the land. We're gonna build home. So when we need to remove them, we have a place to put them. No, so here we are and from the land we purchased came with a house as you can see it's a big little place it's a eight bedroom house six bathroom we're gonna try to use it and move the school to this place hopefully the goal is to create the school so the school can raise the fund we need to do the ministry to help the people who are in need that's the long term so we're not always waiting for somebody to donate you know a dollar here two dollars there because it's just not enough to help the people but if we can get that blessing people we can get support to create the school to build it and then we raise the money we need we can use that money to help um the people who are in need so that's the goal with the land. It's uh, about 11 acres, so it's big. Um, and it's a blessing. One day I'll give you a history how the Lord gave us the land because that would take a while to tell you. So anyway, continue to pray for that. We're fixing the road right now. It's a big mess. It's muddy. It's a lot of money just to fix it. It's literally to make the road. They're asking me, the, they're asking me 3,500 just to fix the road the way we want it. Just a little interest. Then we have a big road all the way up front that also needs to be to give you different um, side of the land. You saw the house, you saw the entrance, and now you can have a little idea. The land goes way back there where you're looking at all the trees. We passed that. What do I need? Here it is. Prayer. Continue to pray because there's power in prayer. And you guys know there's nothing like prayer. Number one. Number two. We're looking for people who wants to donate monthly to help us do this. Or one-time donor, give us something, whatever it is, to build this. And next newsletter, I'm going to make for you guys the next video. Hopefully, I should have a quote on each item, how much it costs. If somebody want to just donate that one or they want to donate a little bit toward it, you can do that. That's what's needed right now. Why do we need all that? because God called us to serve. He called us to take care of his people. They're trying to be our people. We have to love them. We cannot just look at them and say, God loves you, I love you, and that's it. I have people living in plastics. That's their home. The home is made out of plastics, that's it. We'll send you pictures for you to see some of them. It's just some rough situation for these people. And we cannot sit and watch a 11 year old boy getting raped by a family member he doesn't have anywhere to go or a 17 year old kid with a 60 year old man literally as her life because there's nothing to do we are called to serve we don't have a choice i can't stop because that's my calling and i appreciate and i'm grateful for you 
I thank you and thank you from the bottom of my heart for being in partner with me, literally changing lives, not just in Panama and Haiti, Dominican Republic and Africa, Jamaica, Nicaragua. We are changing lives for the Lord and we have to continue from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I love you guys. God bless you. Stay strong. Even if you cannot give a dollar, but there's one thing you can always do, which is the most important part. That is prayer, prayer, prayer. Thank you. God bless you all.